Oh, uh, uh, you saw nothing, you saw nothing. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hello people, Editing Jaffa here. Because technology hates me, the audio from Fraser, who I'm collabing with, hasn't recorded. Sorry Fraser, again. So I've given him subtitles where needed. Hello people, Jaffa- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, go on, go on. Hello people, Jaffa here. Welcome to another collab video. Uh, I'm joined today by Mr. Fox Red Fraser here. Yes, we've- we've- Maybe collabed before, but the uh, footage might not have gone so well, no. Yeah, the footage kind of got corrupted, so here we are, um, attempting a collab number two. What we did in the first uh, collab was, well, we explained that you're pretty new to the game, correct? You've dappled, yeah. So today, I have planned out a exciting, like, training course. Um, today we are going to be talking about a certain a more specific area of Minecraft instead of trying to teach you everything at once. Um, I'm going to be going through modes of transport. <laughs> I know, exciting stuff, I know. But yes, if, you, if you'd like to follow me this way. This is the first method, it's called walking slash running. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to try some swimming. So basically, if you jump in, and I've got your stick. <laughs> yes, you want to you want to hold space. You want to hold space, hold space. But also, if you uh, if you pr press shift, you go down. But then, how you uh, sprint? You can also like sprint when you're underwater. So you can either double tap forward, or you got like I think it's control. Yeah, and you start swimming, rather than just walking around in the water. If you want to right click on the chest and grab out one pair of boots, yeah, and then right click. So these boots, if you press E and like put your mouse over them, you'll see feather falling, unbreaking, mending and dev strider. These are like enchantments that you can get for your armor. Like unbreaking makes it last longer, mending means you can mend it. The dev strider is for swimming so basically if you want to try swimming again you'll hopefully notice that you move a bit quicker oh hey uh, you want to sprint there you go just make sure you keep an eye on your bubbles so you don't drown um and then also another mode of transport in the water you can use dolphins if you jump in the water and go swimming you might get a little effect in the top right corner so try and sprint, so like double tap forward as you underwater or press control. And if you go near one of the dolphins, <laughs> you go a lot quicker. Don't, don't punch the dolphin. Anyway, let's uh, work our way to the other side of the, <laughs> the pool. Okay, now we have various ladders. <laughs> um, so we have a ladder so if you walk up to it you can either look up and press W or you can keep hold of space so this is scaffolding so if you hold shift you go down again if you wanted to go up you could uh, press space so for scaffolding you can stop at a certain point on ladders you do go down but you can like hold shift to stay in place then we have various vines and stuff that are basically all the all the work the same way. You can just climb them, but some uh, some start from the ground and some start on the walls and some hang down. So yes, this is getting up and down. <laughs> so boats, you can go on land, but it's pretty slow. Uh, and then if you press shift to get out. Obviously, if you're getting this one, boats can go in water. No surprise there. You move, a, you move a bit quicker. And then if you're getting this one, so this is ice, and um, you can go pretty quick on ice. <laughs> and again, press shift. Okay, another mode of transport. Horses. We have horses. Uh, if you want to pick one out, so if you right-click on it. 
I believe. Yeah, you'll sit there, but it'll kick you off. If you keep doing that. Yeah, just just keep doing it, keep doing it, and you'll eventually get some hearts. Come on. Love me. There we go. Okay, so if you press shift, you can get off the horse. Uh, so in the chest, oh, no, that's the horse. You got saddles, and then there's various armor. So you got diamond is the best, then iron, then gold. Leopard not being great. I take out a sal saddle. Okay, I'll go diamond. Yeah, okay, so if you sit on your horse, uh, and then if you press E like you're going into inventory, it'll be like the horse inventory. Oh, I don't think he does love you. Uh, try, try again. Uh, make sure you got an empty hand when you're trying to get on him. Just keep trying. There we go, there's some hearts. So if you press E, and you should see a, a slot for the saddle in the top left. And then there's a slot for the armor. Yeah, uh, I'm going to get rid of the leads. So we can be free. Okay. And here we are, riding. So if you want to follow me this way, follow the green path. We also have donkeys. And then through breeding donkeys and horses, you can get mules, which is the brown one. I don't know if I can do it because they're not tamed, but you can put ch uh, you can put chests on the donkeys and the mules. So it's like if you ever run out of storage, you can, you know, if you're riding a donkey or a mule or your chest belt, then you've got extra storage. Yeah, all the horses have like different um, jump height or different speeds. So you kind of got to find, oh, your just can jump miles. <laughs> nice. But yes, yeah, so you can like breed horses to make better horses. So here we have a skeleton horse and a zombie horse. If there's ever like a thunderstorm, there's like a chance of a skeleton horse spawning in. And if you go close to it, it'll get struck by lightning. And then there'll be four of them with skeleton archers on, who I think is supposed to signify the four horsemen of the apocalypse. But if you kill them, you can take, you can take the horses. Uh, the zombie horses, well, they were going to add them to the game, but they never really did, so you can only get them through commands, like cheating, god mode, basically. Moving on. <laughs> so, pigs. So, if you'd like to open the chest, and you can get a, a carrot on a stick and a saddle. Get a saddle in your hands, pick a pig, right-click on it, and you can right-click on the pig again and you're on it and then if you get the uh, carrot on a stick in your hand and then that'll like direct it but they're all following you which is kind of funny if you right click your durability goes down but the pig will start to move with it'll like start to increase its speed uh, so like on your hot bar you like you'll see like a, a bar appear like underneath the carrot on a stick so it's like stuff like armor and weapons and tools have like durability are you, are you happy with your pig? Cool. I like how the rest are following us because we have carrots. So, if you follow me this way. Uh, we have a similar animal. Well, ish. <laughs> so, <laughs> press shift before you die. Um, <laughs> press shift. Okay. And put your, put your carrot on a stick away. Otherwise, it'll keep following you. Um, okay, so these are striders. <laughs> uh, so you've been to the Never. Do you remember the Never, the place that's like hell? Yes. Um, so these live in the Never. As you can see, they are shaking. But basically, if we go in here and get another saddle and get a uh, warped fungus on a stick, what I meant is <laughs> they work the same way as uh, the pigs. <laughs> so if you saddle on one and then right click again and then I'll let the leads go oops and then yeah so basically these guys can walk along lava and they change color they're not shaking and shivering anymore but yeah it's, it's, it's a way to get around the nether and again yeah you can right click it they can pick up some fairly fast speeds, once they're on the lot, or at least. 
Okay, so that was the animals. Next up, we have minecarts. So if you want to open the chest, get a minecart. And then you want to place it on where this track is. So you just right click looking at that track. And then if you right click the minecart, you kind of stood in it already. There we go. And then there's a button to your right. If you click, if you right click on the button. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> but yes, you can make uh, tracks, and you know you can you can set up like roller coasters and all sorts with them. But they're a way to get around. Cool. And then shift, and you get out. Cool. Okay. Next up, we have flying machines. So there's various ways that you can make these. I've just put a very simple one together uh, so it uses like some redstone stuff which is kind of mechanical and then there's honey blocks which sound lovely when you jump on them if you want to get in the boat it's probably the safest option or you can get rid of the boat and stand behind like the honey bit sure. but if, if my redstone is correct so you can sit in the boat if you want it's, I'll, I'll set yours off yeah, basically you use as like mechanics in the game to um, make that happen. Um, can you see the green X on the ground? We're going to jump off and land on that. <laughs> I'm following you. Nice. Nice. Okay. So if you press E again, don't look in the chest. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm just the wild now. They've been let loose back into the wild. Uh yeah, so if you press E and hover over your boots, you'll see that they have feather falling on. Um that means like if you land you'll take less damage from big heights. Okay. Now you can open the chest, and this is the fun bit. We have elytras. These are like end of game sort of thing. But yeah, pretty much if you're holding it and you right click, or you can press E and put it in your chest plate stand, but basically you have wings on now. And the way that this works is, it's a way you got space to jump. If you like double jump, you'll start gliding. I know it looks silly, but yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so it's kind of like, if you do it off this little ledge, so try and like run and, yeah, um, so pretty much where you're looking is where you'll go, so if you're, if you're looking straight down, you'll go straight down, so yeah, exactly, you got it, you got it, uh, you've gone off track, the green path goes this way, how dare you, <laughs> how dare you ignore the green path, <laughs> Which I spent so, so long. You're falling with style. <laughs> so, I, we're, we're going to get to that soon, though. Um, there is, like, a momentum to it. So, if you're, like, looking down slightly, and then you kind of, like, swoop up, you can get a bit of lift again from the momentum. Which takes you a bit further. So, using that, um, can, can you see the green hoop? Uh, we're going to go through the green hoop, so... And then there's a little green platform behind it to land on. No pressure. You got it. You got it. And then... <laughs> okay. So, when you're trying to land, like, a good way to kind of slow down momentum is just, in a way, shake your head a little because you'll like slow down instead of, you know, slow down the momentum of it. Okay, um, so if you right click on the bed and it should say respawn set. That's if we die, we can come back here. So if you open this chest and you grab out a stack of fireworks and hold it in your hand. Space. 
Um, yeah, that spares for when you, we die. <laughs> when you can do the gliding and stuff like that, while you're gliding, if you right click, the rocket will send you where you're looking. So make sure, if you're gonna do it here, make sure you're not looking at a wall. So I'll look across this lake. Um, I'll come back and then. So if you wanna give it a go. So kind of look straight forward. Oh uh, yeah, just right click once. Nice, nice. Just careful coming straight down. No, no, no. <laughs> and there's the death. <laughs> I knew it'd happen. Yeah, the spare's in there for a reason. Like I say, you, you don't want to go too... If you're going to land, try not to come down so steep. I'll have another go, and I'll kind of explain more what I'm doing, and then we'll get you confident with it. So, yeah. Looking straight ahead, and then I'll turn, and I'll slow all my momen momentum down. <laughs> And it's, uh, as I glide back, it's like I'll shake my head a little, just if I ever need to. So when I come into land, I kind of turn to stop all the forward momentum, if that makes sense. Try have another go, try not to go too high. Oh, uh, double jump. It's, it's hard to set off when you're in water. It's possible, but it's difficult. There you go. Try and swoop down and turn, turn, turn. <laughs> yeah, everyone does that at some point. Don't they? Okay, do you want to give it another go? Try and only click once. And then turn. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you made it through the hoop. Can you m manage a landing? <laughs> if you can, we're going to go straight up and try and follow me. Like, so we're gonna be miles away from the ground. <laughs> I can, you, just, you can just right click when you need to. I have no idea where you've gone. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. So yeah, don't right click unless like you kinda wanting that little push and you just need to right click once. Just, if you try and do like a sharp U-turn, like a 180, degree you'll slow down so that's like one method you can use just a bit. yeah there we go nice nice <laughs> the landing's tricky because uh, when you've got like that forward momentum if you're coming in, you'll end up running off a little. So that's kind of one thing you've got to make, you know, take into account for. So I've set up another, some more platforms. Yeah, grab, grab, grab lots more rockets. Okay, so can you see up that hill? That is the first platform. And um, so if you want to fly up into the sky again, and basically We'll just glide over there and just do like a little swizzle as you get here. To that no idea where you're going. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah. And then turn. Rough landing, but you made it. That's the main thing. So if you look that way, you can see the next platform, which is a bit higher and a bit smaller. So this is a 9x9, nine nine. Um, so this next one's like 7x7. Seven seven. So don't worry about flying straight towards it, just get some air, get like a good run up and 
abracadabra. Ah, uh, years of practice. <laughs> and that's why we have the feather fallen. Yeah, the feather falling like helps with the landing, like not taking less damage. Okay, yeah, get another run up if need to. That's the thing, if, if in doubt, fly away and come back. Nice, and then, nice, very smooth. So next up, the next one's a three by three. If you can see uh, over that way, it gets fun from the stage. Yeah, that wasn't a good run up, so I'm gonna fly away, come back again, and just I uh, kinda turn a bit, you know, I do a bit of an S shape, and then a little swizzle as I get here. I'm surprised I made that first try, but <laughs> Nice, I mean Oh yeah. So another thing is, when you land like that and you kind of run off, your momentum takes you off. Usually the flying stops as well. So you can, uh, if you can react in time, you can press space while you're falling. And it's like the gliding will, you know, you'll take flight again. But yes, yeah, so if you'd like to set off again, whenever you're ready. Definitely didn't see that. There we go. That looks good. No, okay. No. It's okay. Like I say, if in doubt, go up and try again. against the side <laughs> and again <laughs> it's okay you got this you got this like I say like do like a come in quite high but with an S shape like swerve in and out and you'll slow yourself down oh it's looking good very nice oh yeah um so a tip is if you press shift like keep hold of shift um, you, you can't walk off like this. You made a 3x3, three three, which is good. Better than a lot of people can do. You've seen the next challenge. Yeah, this is where it gets real fun. Hey, I made it. Thanks. Go for it. Yeah. You can play Daredevil and kind of a... Uh... Ooh. But yeah, I think it's right straight through. Yeah, you can play Daredevil and like jump off, but then like press space again at the last second to get climbing. Yeah, you have to like kind of do do the U turn as you kind of land here. <laughs> Worth an effort. At least your corpse would be on it. It's looking good. Remember the U turn. U turn. Like as in like do like a 180, um, just to stop all your momentum. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see where. <laughs> you just threw a rocket at me. Oh! You experienced kinetic energy. So, uh, we're basically going to backtrack on these, on the path. I 
don't know if you can still see me. Okay, you see this big mountain over here? Open this one. Tell me the difference between the, these rockets and the other ones you're using. Yes, there's three different durations, and then it's not like extreme, but basically, if you're flying a long distance, it just adds. Basically, the firework goes on for a bit longer. So um, feel free to use some of them. And yeah, just enjoy flying, I guess. Interesting choice. Yep. <laughs> Out that side. Yeah, I know. Please fly away. There we go. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so you can just keep going up until you can't see the world. And then if you look straight down. Don't worry about it. Can you see me again? I'm kind of to your right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just saw you spy into the side. <laughs> okay, have you grabbed another? Right. Oh, I hear you. I'm right behind you. Uh, if you go directly up again. And then, so what I was on about with the momentum, if you look directly down, but then as you're coming up to the floor, don't use a rocket, just look, like, start to slowly look up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look directly down and that's it. <laughs> Pretty much you want to, like, slowly start to, like, arc upwards, just to keep the momentum, so you don't even have to use a rocket get like lift from it. Yeah, so like you can you know you can travel pretty far like on very few rockets. Oh I found the flying machines. Just merged with the mountain. It's a good height. Nice. Yeah, he shifted right at the end. Cool. Um, so, have you learnt something today? down <laughs> and ask you down here. stand in the middle. <laughs> right. Uh, do you want to do you want to go through what you've learned today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've, you've done well with the landings, like a lot of them you got pretty quick. You just, you're still learning about the shift. So yes, I uh, hope you've enjoyed today, and I hope, I hope you've learned something, and I hope that whoever's watched this has learned something, 
maybe. Probably not. Make sure you do all the YouTube stuff. I feel like I've got to do the whole thing now because you, you enjoy ringing the bell. Yeah, if you want to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. <laughs> yep. Bye. Okay, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you. Nice.